what's up you guys it's molly welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome to another video if you're new here my name is molly and i'm a sophomore at the university of alabama today's video is an expectations versus reality video about the university of alabama i saw tay stabs do this who goes to the university of georgia and i just thought this would be a really great video idea for me to film i feel like every college when you're going through the college decision process or even just like as you're going through life there are a lot of misconceptions and things you hear about any university and I just wanted it to be a resource for any prospective students anyone who maybe is just curious honestly about my experiences of what I deem the misconceptions are that may be true maybe false and I'm really excited to just dispel some rumors and also kind of confirm some things or talk to you guys a little bit about a bunch of different aspects of the University of Alabama whether it's student like Greek life the town the southern culture whatever it may be I put a question sticker up on my Instagram a few weeks ago and if you do not follow me there I highly recommend that you do that because it's a good place for you to interact with me on a more personal level and kind of get input into my videos um so I do have a bunch of misconceptions written on my phone that you guys sent into me that I'm really excited to jump into so let's just jump right into the video okay so I decided to start out with this first one just because I feel like this is literally the most common one that I got um, and it's the expectation that everyone is in a sorority I don't know the exact percentage of students that are in Greek life a lot of people assume it's more than it is because of social media presence and different things like that um, but I know it's not the majority of students that are involved in sorority life um, so if you are coming here and maybe don't want to rush that is completely okay and you will still have so many other ways to get involved so I wouldn't worry too much about that so if you were maybe debating coming here because you thought I'm not gonna rush and there's no way I'm gonna make friends if everyone else is doing a sorority that is not true you would be completely fine the next expectation is it's a culture shock coming from your hometown to the south I would definitely say this is false and honestly the main reason I say this is because majority of students are not from the state of Alabama um, so you kind of get a little bit of people from all over honestly my friends are mostly from different states like California, Texas, Georgia, places like that. I have a few friends from Alabama, yes, but it's definitely not the majority and you don't feel like a fish out of water coming here as an out-of-state student. Honestly, one of the things I love about this school that really drew me to it was the fact that I'd be surrounded by people that weren't from the same state as me and were from places from all over. I've met people from so many different places and experiences and I feel like it really just helps you in your college experience because like it helps you mature as a person too because if you're surrounded by the same type of personal the time um, I don't think it would really prepare you for what's to come after college so I would definitely say that that one is false the next expectation is it's hard to make friends this one's a little bit complicated given kind of the circumstances that we're in and the things I've kind of seen a lot of the freshmen go through obviously because I was a pod leader for Pi Phi for bid day and I got to help a lot of our new member girls that rush kind of get make friends and kind of just like get that community going right away it's completely different with COVID right now I know a lot of people I know even girls that did rush a sorority are having a little bit of a harder time making friends outside of their roommates and their immediate sorority just because of the limitations COVID has kind of caused. Honestly, aside from COVID, in my personal opinion, based on my experience as a freshman in the fall, obviously before COVID had even happened, I didn't think it was very hard to make friends. I also got involved right away, which if you are debating coming here, I would highly recommend you start joining a bunch of clubs and do a bunch of things you're interested in. You know, don't be afraid of any of that because you will meet a lot of really great people that share a lot of common interests as you. Um, and there are a lot of really great clubs here that do really incredible stuff that would really just give you a social environment and people to meet honestly too just go out with your roommates to dinner you might meet people while you're sitting out at dinner like things like that happen all the time as well um if you're coming here if you're nervous about that obviously COVID is like a crazy circumstance and it's not typical um, but if you get involved i definitely think there are a lot of really easy ways to get to get involved and to meet people and to make the making friends process easier for you. The next expectation is the campus is really confusing and easy to get lost. In my opinion, this is honestly false. UA's campus is structured in kind of a cool way because there's like a STEM quad. So like basically if you're pre-med, if you're doing anything engineering, anything pre-med, like I said, you're in pretty much the same quad for those classes all the time um you get pretty familiar with that area pretty quickly for me i'm a communications major and reese pfeiffer is on the main quad where denny chimes is if you have not toured ua there are virtual tours you can do right now or obviously you can sign up to come and do one but the communications building is on the main quad and i'm also a psych minor so they're all in that same 
main quad area and the main quad also is a lot of there's the business building there's the education building the english building is very very common a lot of people have that history is right off the main quad as well um so you definitely figure out where you're supposed to be in kind of the area that specific things are in pretty quickly and i feel like when you live in a certain place and you go to the same certain class buildings every day it makes the campus feel a lot smaller and in my opinion it wasn't hard to do at all the first week i came here freshman year i literally used google maps on my phone because it had like the walking tool and i just used that for like a week or two until i got familiar with how to get to my classes and then it really wasn't any problem at all the next expectation is classes are harder than high school classes it's like you're in a university you're taking college classes they're definitely bound to be more time consuming and definitely more in depth than the classes you would see in high school. There are some in my opinion that are like 10 times harder and just like definitely like you can tell it's like a true college course with a true like tough professor and everything like that. But there are also some frankly that you don't really feel like that at all and you kind of feel like it's the same level of work that high school had for you. Speaking from my experience, my high school prepared me way way better than i ever could have imagined for college and it is really an incredible high school so like i was basically taking these ap classes that were the same exact curriculum as college courses and i've seen that kind of shine through through a lot of the classes i took especially freshman year i do feel like for me my high school definitely did prepare me very very well but at the same time there are some kids might come from some high schools where maybe it's not exactly the same way like i know people that maybe their schools didn't offer ap classes and so it really was like a true high school level course and then they kind of were like whoa these classes are so hard um so it's kind of personal to everybody and where they come from but for me i didn't feel like it was much harder it's everyone's own experience and own opinion on that i really like this next expectation because i really think i can like dispel a lot of rumors with this one it is it's hard to make friends if you don't like to party or go out if you're talking to me about this honestly like if you were standing in front of me right now asking me is it really that hard to make friends if you're not into like the going out scene this is genuinely what i would tell you to your face i do not like to go out it's just not my scene i'm not like a bars girl i've never been that girl my friends have been so like they don't care they're super supportive about it and there are a few of my other friends are kind of the same way you know and like some of them go out to the bars on the weekends like pretty much every night some of, obviously some of us that don't go at all some people maybe go sometimes it's entirely up to you i don't necessarily think it's hard to make friends if you don't go out because i think there are so many different ways you can make friends like you don't need to rely on that with classes and clubs alone it's such an easy way to make friends and such an easy way for you to just get out of your shell um that way in a less i don't know crazy setting if that's not for you literally don't worry about it so many people that i know really don't go out like that often and they've had a perfectly fine time with making friends this next expectation kind of goes off that one a little bit but it is you need to be in greek life to have friends that is so so not true like i was just talking about so many people that i know are only involved in like big clubs and big organizations and they've literally met all of their friends that way or through their dorms or through classes it's completely normal to meet friends that way and it's organic and it's not any it's not any harder to make friends that way than it is in a sorority i've honestly seen a lot of people go through rush and go through a sorority especially this year with covid and make more friends through their classes and through their dorm life than they did in their sorority obviously that was because of covid limitations but it just kind of goes to show that it is still possible to make friends if you're not in greek life um, so I would definitely say that that's false. This next expectation is just rush is tough. Yes and no. This one is a little bit complicated just because of the fact that every year 2,500 plus girls go through sorority rush here and maybe the vast majority might have a great experience. They knew their house before they even began. They got a bid from their dream house. Everything was great. Some people have a not so great experience where maybe they get dropped by the houses that they ended up loving the most. Maybe they kind of had to start from scratch with only two days left in recruitment type of thing where they kind of had to like find another house they felt comfortable with. For me, I honestly kind of feel like I was right in the middle. I didn't necessarily have a tough time with the houses I wanted not wanting me back because I knew I would was like i wanted to go pi fi pretty early on it was pretty much like the second day of philanthropy round because i had pi fi the second day of philanthropy round um but in like terms of just like the week itself it is just kind of a tough process obviously the freshman that just went through it went through it on zoom and so that was just like a different level of draining because you're staring at a computer for 12 hours a day well, we were outside in 100 plus degree heat for 12 hours a day going from house to house sweating trying to fix our makeup and our hairs we're like running to and from houses and it's just like a lot of 
it's not even just like emotions like i don't want to say i was like sobbing on prep or like sobbing in houses about like recruitment it was just like a very draining week with like all that you had to do every single day and that you had to be like completely on and completely enthusiastic for 12 hours a day in every party you were in and it's definitely very draining i got the flu the week after rush so um in that aspect i would say heck yes it's tough uh, but if it's really different for everybody i wouldn't like be scared of recruitment because of it you know it's an experience that i thoroughly enjoyed honestly as tough as it was like i think it really was worth it so i would say it is tough but i don't want that to scare anybody because it really is such an amazing process that really does what it's meant to do to like find you like the house you're supposed to be in um next expectation is people come from all over the u.s and yes that is true i talked about it a little bit earlier majority of students from that go here are from out of state which is honestly like i said so cool and gives you such a cool chance to meet so many amazing people i love this next expectation it is the whole school is excited and a happy mood on game days honestly i would say definitely based on my experiences last year i had like a normal tailgate experience the whole season and literally days before the games the tents get set up on the quad and so people like rent out tents that they set up like tailgate tents people bring food and it's just like so fun and there's like always so many game day traditions the band and the cheerleaders and everyone does and it's just like when game day comes it's so fun and everyone's just like so excited to like, get in the stadium and cheer on the tide and it's like it literally is such a fun atmosphere that i genuinely have not seen the same level of excitement from any other school and that's another thing that no one really said this on my questions but i want to bring it up i feel like alabama has such a weird misconception they're like the students don't care about football because they know they're going to be good all the time and like that type of thing honestly i have never seen a more spirited school in my life than here it's just like insane everyone is so like obsessed with the sport someone's obsessed with the games and people get so invested and it's just like such a fun atmosphere to be a part of because people are like so invested in the crimson tide and like the games every week like people look forward to the games and people start like making fun of the other team the week before and stuff and it's just like so cool and i feel like that misconception that we like don't care is so 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 false the next expectation is there is a lot of activities to do on campus that is so so true this is a huge campus with hundreds of organizations you can be a part of every fall they do a thing called get on board day where basically in normal circumstances the ferguson student center area and a little bit beyond it as you're heading to the quad are filled with little tables for all the organizations and they just talk to you a little bit about what they do and you can sign up for them if you're interested in them and it's honestly really great especially for freshmen that haven't really gotten to know any of the organizations yet um which i think is really really awesome and it really just gives you that opportunity right when you get there to get involved in whatever you want which i think is so so awesome and it really just helps a big school feel small right away so you can like really get into what you're interested in and you have a really easy way to kind of get involved in those <laughs> this next expectation is that there would be so many southern accents i definitely think there are a lot of southern accents but like i said the majority of students are from out of state and even though obviously that encompasses some other southern states that have southern accents i don't feel like i hear them that often like it's not like the majority of the time i'm hearing someone talk with a southern accent type of thing it's not like that at all this next expectation is super important and it is it's hard to afford greek life on top of all other college expenses obviously it's dependent on every single person i think some people i know some people that do struggle with paying the greek life expense obviously because it is a very large expense that you have to pay every semester some people that I know pay for it entirely themselves, other people set up a payment plan, some people pay in full right away, and it's entirely dependent on you. And all the Greek organizations that I at least had talked to during Russian kind of got an idea for how they dealt with dues there, they always have scholarships, payment plans, different things they can offer you. Um, to help with that um, so you can be a part of an organization the next one i really wanted to bring up and it is that academics are not good and that is so so false i have met some of the most brilliant kindest best in the industries that i've ever seen professors i am in the public relations program and that is really what drew me to the university i was really torn between news media and public relations even when i was at orientation here i started out with news media switched to public relations actually last semester but i was having a lot of doubts about news media before that just because i'm in capstone agency and i've been really involved in the public relations program since i stepped foot on campus and the pr program is a huge huge one that i really want to talk to you guys about because it is 
is the number one public relations program in the country and it really just reigns so true when you talk to the professors and you talk to the advisors of Capstone Agency and all these amazing people that have been here for so many years and really are just incredible at what they do. A lot of my friends are also pre-med and they've had really great experiences in the pre-med program, also with the nursing program. I have a few friends that are in the business school and absolutely rave about it. A lot of them are doing their masters in marketing here and different things like that. Um, so there really are a lot of incredible programs here and if you are more interested in learning more about them, obviously you can look at the university website, you can come and tour. The Capstone men and women who do the tours here at the university are really good at talking to you guys about like all the different programs and what they have to offer and a lot of the cool things that they do. Um, so I would highly encourage you guys to look more into it because obviously I'm not a tour guide. I don't know everything about the school. Um, but I would definitely say that that expectation is false. I have had incredible experience academics wise here at the University of Alabama. Okay, you guys, that is it for this University of Alabama expectations versus reality video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to follow me on all my social media, all of which will be linked in the description down below so you guys can stay up to date on my life. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.